So uh, we have our velocity expression here, and you notice this time is in terms of x, um, where x is the distance from the origin. And we want to find the acceleration of the particle at the origin. So like the types of questions you can expect when doing stuff like this, um, they may be asking you to find the acceleration. Um, they may be asking you to find an expression for the acceleration. They may be asking you to find displacement. They may ask you to do a whole variety of things. It's always going to be different. Um, in this case, we want to find the acceleration at a specific point at the origin. So I'm thinking, what, x is equal to 0, right? Um, so usually, we would just take the derivative and find the acceleration. But what's the issue here? We have it in terms of x, right? So we have to go to our um, expression over here, d dx half v squared, or v times dv dx. Now, one of them um, may be easier in certain situations compared to others, um, but both of them do work. So um, kind of up to you which you want to choose. Uh, let's just start off by looking at d dx half v squared, for example. Right? <clears throat> what would that look like? So we have our acceleration is equal to d dx half v squared. And then so we have d dx over here, half, yeah, this guy's dying. d dx half of this guy all squared. What's the best way to go from here? <laughs> just stop. Just give up. <laughs> you reckon? You, why don't you try the other one and see if it matches up as the same one? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> well, I said I said it was meant to be the same, right? So. You also said one of them. I did, I did say that. Do you want to try that? Why don't you try that for me? And then we'll, we'll go ahead and use this one. While all these guys are working at it. All right. James, you have a crack at this one? Say that again for me. 2 e to the minus x on the outside. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. So you can just do that by um, doing what chain rule, I suppose. Which did you get the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Because that's the same as v dv minus x, right? Um, but we haven't answered the question yet. So we want to find the acceleration of the particle at the origin. So what are we thinking that in terms of that? Or I said that earlier. It's at x equals zero. So at x is equal to zero. We've got a is equal to 2e to the 0 outside of 1 minus 2e to the 0. That's just going to be 1. This is also going to be 1. So did I do something wrong? Because that's not the answer here. Oh, yeah, jokes. Negative 2, yeah. <laughs> Oh, good. Uh, we should probably have units, so yeah. Did I say up here? Where x is the distance, let's say in cm. Cm per second per second. Yeah. Let's go per second per second. Do you like meters better? Meters is better. Meters is better, OK. There you go. Get rid of that. <laughs> um, did you find V D V V D V D X was easier here? Well, that one, like I, uh, oh, I had what you had, but like, but I, I expanded it out. Yeah. Okay. So that's another option, right? So you've got a lot of different options with stuff like this. You know, you can expand it out. You can um, keep it and use chain rule. You could use V D V D X. All of them would work. Um, so use the one that you see fit. All right, next one here. So if I'm looking at this question now, what are they asking for? So they're giving me now acceleration, that expression, and they want me to find the velocity. Now, when you're given a question like this, um, think about what you're going to have to be doing, right? If you have acceleration, you want velocity, you have to 
integrate, right? I'm going to assume this is something to integrate. <laughs> so what that means is when you're choosing the different forms here, um, choose that carefully. Because if you were to integrate this expression, not too sure how you would do it. The advantage of integrating this expression here is because you have d dx here. And when you integrate that, can you see how those are just going to cancel out? Because if you're integrating the derivative of something, what are you going to get left with? Well, you just get left with that same expression, right? So that's why you want to choose these carefully depending on the situation. So here's acceleration. I'll start off with that. a is equal to 3 minus 2x, right? But then I said the other way that we could write that acceleration is um, d dx half v squared, right? So d dx half v squared is equal to 3 minus 2x. And so then what did we say that we were going to do with this guy? Integrate. Integrate, right, with respect to what we've got here, so with respect to x. And then that's why that's the benefit of writing in this form for this case. We can just get half v squared. And then we can integrate the right-hand side as well. So we can get 3x minus x squared plus c. What's up? Oh, yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, good spot, good spot. Just picking up my mistakes. What's next, Angus, from here? What are, what are you trying to do? Well, we want to find v, so find an expression for, we'll find the velocity, right? So if I'm trying to find the velocity in terms of x, um, we can rearrange it. Uh, the other issue, though, is that if we've got this constant here, right? what do I want to do with that? Well, we, yeah, well, we've got some initial values that we can find c with, right? So when um, v, is equal, v is equal to 2 when x is equal to 1, so we can go substitute those in. So what's this guy going to be? So like 2. 3 minus 1 is just 2. Wait, c is just 0. Is that baited? Yep. <laughs> c is just 0. Sick. Always love when that happens. So what we end up with then is our expression is half v squared is equal to 3x minus x squared. Um, multiply everything by 2. And then James' last step. Because what's the question asking for? Is find v in terms of x. What do I have right now? Oh, take the root of the yeah, square root of both sides, positive and negative. What is that? They are annoying, right? Like, how, how do we feel about this sensor? Like, we've got the square root, we've got the plus and minus there, positive and negative. So it's the radical sign we have an issue with, right? Rather than uh, the squ square roots themselves. So it's an interesting question. Is this a correct answer? Well, there shouldn't be multiple answers for the velocity, depending on the situation. Um, because there's one way you have to actually check. And think back to when you had differential equations, right? And you were given positive and negative cases. How did you distinguish between them? Yeah, this guy here, right? This is your initial value. Uh, I guess, are they initial values? Initial conditions? Usually initial conditions are when equals zero. But you have some conditions here that need to be met, right? So what are the conditions? When x equals to 1, v should equal to 2. And only one of them meets that criteria. Yeah, so it's the positive case, right? Because otherwise you can get negative 2. So test for v equals to 2 when x is equal to 1. And then you can see, therefore, v is equal to just the positive case. I mean, you don't have to write the positive, but you know, just for good measure. Cool. Oh, questions about it? Um, no. Okay. Yeah, you want something trickier? Do we want to be 
this, this is the nature of the beast. <laughs>